What's up, geeks and nerds of the internet world? I'm back yet again in the same day because I have a very pressing topic to talk about. And this topic that I want the whole world to know about is, yes, the wonderful social network site that connects people from Japan to Puerto Rico, people from Italy to America, and just connects everybody to this big internet, social networking hoopla. And, uh, it's great. It really is. Don't get me wrong, I, I actually really enjoy it. It keeps all my friends that I've made, because I've moved a lot. Keeps them all, I mean, it keeps us all, you know, connected and whatnot, up to date with each other. Um, there are some, there are some people who just shouldn't be around on Facebook. And I'm going to call those people out. Leave it up to me to do it. Yay! Um, that's a little list here. Of some people who really should get their Facebook accounts deactivated, if you know what I mean. Number one is the uh, Let Me Tell You Every Aspect of My Life post. Um, hey, I just woke up. I just ate Wheaties for breakfast. I just went to the bathroom. I just washed my hands after using the bathroom. Now I'm walking in the hallway. Like, why? Who cares? Not me. Take it to Twitter. That's what that's for. You know, post random stupid stuff on Twitter and it's a hit. You do it on Facebook, you're irritating, so take it over there. Um, number two. The self amazed. Mm. This is the one who's always posting. Look at my accomplishment. Look at my picture. Why did you think I'm pretty? Really? It's like, why? There's not even an acceptable place to do this. You can't do it on Twitter because that's st still weird. You can't do it on Facebook because it's irritating. I don't know, I'd be acceptable on MySpace, but who really uses MySpace? Not me. Um, so, why? I, I just don't understand the social media. I really don't. Like, I, I don't even have an exclamation. I can't talk right tonight. Exclamation for the shelf and name. So we're going to go to number three. This is the friend patter. There's always those people who have, uh, I think, they're 150, 200 friends. And those are actually people they've met. Right? But then you get to the people who have, like, 1,500 to 3,000 friends. Who are you fooling? You don't know all them? They're not your friends. They're your acquaintances and people you run into on the street. And half the people on there you haven't even met. So, it's so cool. You have internet friends. Can you make them in real life? Just saying. Moving on to number four, the weatherman. I can literally get on Facebook in the morning and know the weather before I even look outside the window. Mm hmm. Sad. Like when it, the winter, the little bit of winter we did have. When it would snow a little bit, I would be on Facebook. And I would know that it's snowing before I actually heard from the news. I was like, whoa, this is weird. Shouldn't, like, the weather channel tell me this? Or something professional? Hmm? Moving on, number five. Um, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> number five is the news guru. This is the one who is the supposedly first one to tell me that my possession died. No, because thanks to Facebook, they've got this little list of all your friends who have talked about a certain subject. And I had like billions, not billions, like 27 people saying, Michael Jackson said, what? Well, oh no. So you texting me or you putting a post on Facebook, you're not the first one to know Michael Jackson died. So. Well, I didn't use them. I got a whole new feed was covered in that. I know. I have seen some lady at the play. Number six is Mr. or Mrs. Bad Grammar. The statement, let's use an example. Um, the statement, Michael Jackson 
is dead is dramatically correct. The statement, Michael Jackson be dead, is not proper grammar. So, I'm just going to leave it at that and let y'all ponder on that thought and see if it irritates anybody else. That it irritates me, so, fun saying it. <laughs> Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is the lurker. We all have those people who creep on your Facebook wall and li will literally look at all your pictures, look at all your posts, look at all your statuses, look at all your, like, what you see on other friends' walls. Why? Do you have nothing better to do with your life? Read a book, ride a bike, save a cat from a tree, see the squirrel. I mean, something other than liking on my Facebook feed. Like, I, the other day, I got a, a picture like from a picture that I got to, when was it, February 2011? Why are you looking at a picture from me from February 2011? You have just been creeping on my pictures because I've uploaded more since, since then. So you must have been like, ooh, I can't create my pictures with that. Huh. Nobody likes you. Or your kind of people. Don't say nobody likes you. I'm sure you have people who like you, but not what you do. So, that? Um, number eight, the paparazzi. These are the people who will post a picture of you from either your past, your present, who knows, but they fail to tell you they're going to post it. This can be for some very awkward and very written to explain. Yeah. Oh, I thought I got that one on your own. But for me, it's just really weird to see, you know, just didn't see a picture of me from, like, fifth grade. I tried to forget that kind of stuff because I was socially awkward. So, it'd be best if you didn't post pictures of me from then. Okay, thanks. Um, number nine. The Chronic Insider. Huh, this is awesome. No, actually, I can't stand them. I despise them, to be honest, because I will get on Facebook, get a little red block that says she's got a notification and I'm like somebody likes me. Yay! I got a, I got a notification. No. You know what it is? It's an invite to find though. Again, for like the billionth time that I've deleted and denied the billionth time. I'm the same person. I don't understand it. Go and find somebody else, please. Please I'm I'm begging you and I'm praying to that in the world. Stop seeing invites. Oh and then the try my petition don't know what the petition's for. He didn't really give an explan expl I really am having trouble with that word without explanation on what it's for. So why would I sign it? Just a thought. Um the gym fanatic, I guess you can call it. The one who posts his whole gym schedule on Facebook. Nobody cares how many shit ups or pull ups or push ups you've done because we all know you've done one of each and you barely completed your pull up so don't try to make yourself some cooler than you are. I'm brutally honest, sorry. Um still like my status if I'm pretty. I think I've already mentioned this, but I'm gonna mention it again because that's how strongly I feel about it. If you have to put a status to get people to verify if they think you're pretty, you have some serious underlying self-confidence, and if you, you just need to deal with it. I'm just going to put it frankly. No idea, but if you need, you're just, um, what is the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it, but you're that. That word I'm thinking of, that's what you are. Yeah. Um... So yeah, that's a few of the most annoying things I've seen on Facebook. Oh, another one. When a person has a picture of a car as their profile picture, you're not a transformer, you're not Optimus Prime, and unless your mother and your 